Now, welcome to a very special interaction with two friends who I shall later describe as two people who presided over the demise of the WTO talks. Lord Mendelssohn, first Secretary of State, and you've got many other titles, which are, but I will, will say first Secretary of State means equivalent to a Deputy Prime Minister, one day to be Prime Minister, and young Kamal Nath who's been elected for 30 years Yes. And to be Prime Minister one day. So uh -huh. two future Prime Ministers here. Uh -huh. No, no, no. That's the right answer. That's the right answer and I know Look at deep this. down... We're two modest politicians <laughs> who just want to serve the people and oh. do a proper day's job and, and be thankful for Peter it or not. pessimistic, but I'm realistic. Right. <laughs> That's the difference. No, but how did the two of you together just ruin the WTO? <laughs> there must be a story behind this. I'll tell you the story. I think it'd be fair to put, ask Kamal that. I, uh, we were in negotiations and I asked him, I want to go and see European agriculture because the subsidy is <laughs> right. there. So both of us sat in a train and drove uh, and went Get, in the train. from Paris to Brussels. Paris to Brussels to see European agriculture which is so heavily subsidized. <laughs> I would refuse to eat with Peter because he was giving me subsidized dinner. You know, everything which was on the plate, on the table, was subsidized. So <laughs> when we were on this train, I was waiting to see the agriculture. Uh, finally, the agriculture I saw were two fat cows <laughs> fed on subsidized food whose legs were going like this. They couldn't stand on their feet. Right? Ruining the ozone layer. Absolutely. And this is when I think Peter realized that, that uh, you had a point. That I had a point when I said, is that your subsidized, uh, is that your agriculture, European agriculture you talk about? Right. I can understand you're talking about European culture, I'll buy that. Right. But if you're talking about European yeah. agriculture... But, but and, and this is when Peter, incidentally, pointed out uh, to the minister that we had already tabled a very, very substantial offer to reduce the protection, the subsidies, the privileges of European agriculture as a very major contribution to the success of the Doha talks. And at the end of the day, I think Kamal was happy with what Europe was offering. Deep down. But it was so deep. He was, show. well, he'd, he'd, he'd screwed so much out of us by this time, he couldn't <laughs> fail to be happy. But, but, he, 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 was, but, he, was, but he was still quibbling over what the United States uh, ah, were prepared to do. And, and, what, and what the United States were demanding of, of developing countries. And that was an American uh, position. There's nothing I could do about and that. And deep down, you have a bit, you have sympathy for the developing countries. What, well, what America was demanding <laughs> and what they were prepared to do was a bit over the top. I am an, I, I am an enlightened progressive Englishman. So, of course, and I have sympathy for the developing countries. And, and indeed, when I left <laughs> school, before I went to university, I made it my business to go and live in Africa for a year in the bush to learn about uh, the development needs uh, of, uh, of people living in rural poverty. But, uh, so I, I had a strong sympathy. I also had, I have to admit... You had a strong sympathy I also for have to, position. I have to also own up to uh, an excessive sympathy uh, towards India. Uh, because, of course, being my grandfather's grandson, my grandfather was Deputy Prime Minister of Britain after the war, and one of his great duties or opportunities, I think actually it was a wish fulfilled by my grandfather, he went with Krishna Menon right. in August 1947 right. to India House in the Aldrich in London, and as the Union Jack was pulled down by my grandfather, Krishna Menon, the ambassador and first High Commissioner, side by side put up the new Indian uh, flag side by side and I have the photograph of them.